Hospital Porter's pride and dignity stop the New World Order. Welcome to Hapanwo TV. This video is about um, a change I'm going to make to Hapanwo TV, which um, it's not something recent actually, it's something I sort of set up uh, a few months ago. But I'm going to I'm going to make I'm going to be more active now with it than I was back then. This was just kind of a provisional system. It was a provisional situation, I suppose, when I first set it up. But I'm going to take it more seriously now. And I'm talking about my BitChute account. Now, um, a lot of people I know have more than one YouTube account. They have one channel, they have a backup channel. And this has become more common because YouTube has become a less secure place for people, especially people with um, what you might call unusual opinions about various things. And um, what you find is that um, even now, even backup channels now are not enough. And that YouTube itself is the problem. Now, what I'm talking about here, of course, is censorship. Now, I know there's been a lot of people who deny this is going on. YouTube will deny it's going on. But um, it is. This is what it is. It's not about stopping hate speech. It's not about protecting copyright. It's not about um, community guidelines. It is about the censorship of certain opinions about certain things. And um, I've talked about this before. I mean, I've done an entire video, actually. I'll put it a link in the description box to the uh, two or three videos I've done now on this subject. Um, but basically, YouTube has changed since it first started out. Now, I've been doing YouTube for a long time, probably longer than most people watching this. I actually, I actually joined YouTube in around about... 2007 I believe uh, which is just a couple of years after it started and in the early days of YouTube it was really good fun it was it was it was really brilliant and there was I met some great people um, some of you I still know a uh, tinfoil hat lady she's still here um, you know, there's a couple of others I couldn't I could think of um, <clears throat> but there was others like Red Phantom who now long he's not he's not on YouTube anymore but he was a great guy and everyone could just everyone just stay everyone just said what they wanted to. People were more polite. Trolling was far less common. And everyone felt secure on on the platform. They felt that the platform respected them. They respected they respected the people they went on to call content creators. It wasn't a term they used back then. They used to be called users, now they call them content creators, which I think is far more spec respectful. But unfortunately the use of this term, this more respectful term, has come with a lack of respect for the people who, who use it, the actual content creators themselves. Now, um, before anyone, I know what some people are going to say, aren't they? Isn't I know what some of you are going to say. It's a private company. They can do whatever they like. Okay, it is a YouTube is a private company. It's now owned by Google, which is a private company. But they can't just do whatever they like. They enter into a contract with their customer, like every other private businessman does like I do, I'm a private businessman I enter into a contract with my clients I can't agree to do a job for somebody and I don't turn up and I say to them, well you still gotta pay me because I'm a private company and I can do whatever I want no I don't I failed in my in my um, my position as my obligation to honor that contract and so they don't have to pay me But YouTube don't see it. YouTube don't see it that way. YouTube are. It's really weird. I mean, I. It's 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 even worse than I thought. Because I remember I made a comment. I think it was on one of my posts. It was on one of my had my voice blogs actually, not on YouTube. But I commented that YouTube were shooting themselves in the foot over this over a political agenda. Basically, the the state, the government, had actually introduced new regimes of um, thought control. And YouTube were going along with it against their interests as a company. Because when they um, demonetize a video, they demonetize it for themselves as well. So it's not, just the, it's not just the content creator who's no longer getting advertising revenue. So is the platform. The platform isn't either. And then Slack uh, informed me the other day. I mean, Slack was very angry about this. He made a video called... Uh, what is, <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a single two-word expletive, basically. And, I, and he discovered that some of the channels some of the some of the content that has been demonetized still has ads on it and this can mean only one thing youtube are still paying they're still allowing they're still allowing advertisers on but only for themselves 
So all the revenue is going to them, which is which is an absurd and extremely two-faced way to operate, I must say. And Snacks are quite right, he was angry about this. So am I. I don't monetize my videos, but I mean, it, it doesn't matter. I, I know people who do. I know some people who do depend on this because some of the people I know do this do it full time and they depend on it. And I'm Dave Cullen, Computing Forever, Sargon of Akkad. They're full time YouTubers, it's their job. And it's all changed. All the fun and, and sort of easygoing camaraderie and, and an easygoing atmosphere of YouTube in the early days has now gone. Now everybody is scared to breathe in case they lose their channel or get a video blocked in this country or that country or so they get a flag for this, that or the other. Everyone's terrified and the trolls, the unknowing useful idiots of this agenda are becoming more organised, they're becoming more common. There's a massive troll culture that's built up as well which is really, really, which is really very, very difficult indeed. I mean, I now block it. I'm blocking about three people a week now. You know, it's just so awful. And I think I'm say blocking three people. I'm blocking three accounts a week. But the the accounts are all set up by the same group of people. And all the fun's gone. All the fun's going out of it. Now, um, what's happened is it's got worse. There's been a purge. Some people call it the Great Shuttening. Others call it the purge, but it's happened. It's actually happened. There's been another wave of purge, of this purge, the Great Shuttening, over the last couple of weeks, and a number of channels have been hit. Um, Sargon of Akkad had his channel. Um, he was locked out of his channel. Um, now, the funny thing is, YouTube then apologised. They backtracked and apologised to several of the users, um, and they said, "Sorry, we made a mistake." However, I d I don't buy that. I think they, they obviously I think they maybe felt they tipped their hand too far and they decided to uh, they decided to try and roll it back. But their original plan I think was to actually shut these channels down. Um they they were saying we're gonna shut them down and um they wanted Sargon off they wanted Sargon off the platform, they wanted several other people off and they actually did it. Then they thought, oh hang on, we're not gonna get away with this. Let's just backtrack and say it was a mistake. Sargon was locked out of his channel for several days. He was Sargon's got four channels. But I mean you can actually see his interview with Stefan Molyneux. I know I keep mentioning him, some and that irritates some of you, or well, too bad, because there's a very good interview with Sargon Sargon of Akkad, Stefan of Molyneux, you can find it on his channel. Um Sargon interestingly was actually attacked by the by Antifa at Sir King's College London um the other day. These bloody lefty morons. They just turned up and started, you know, hurling abuse, disrupting the event, calling Sargon a Nazi, calling the guy he was with a Nazi, which is absolutely ludicrous. <laughs> well, Sargon, firstly, Sargon, Sargon is a li liberalist, he calls himself. I mean, he calls himself a man of the left. He says he's, uh, he's, he's actually mixed race as well. His grandfather actually is a black man from St. Helena. Yeah, so I wonder what he thinks of the airport, if he's still around. Um, and the guy he was speaking to is Yara, a guy, someone called Yaron Brook, who is a Jewish anarchist. You can't call these people Nazis. Anyway, uh, Sargon got together with Yaron Brook in another location and they completed their debate. <laughs> um, so basically there's this general atmosphere, ever since, ever since Brexit and Trump, there's been this general atmosphere of the, the, the opposition clamping down or the authorities clamping down and using the left as basically their own brainless shock troops. And um, it's ridiculous. And I mean, anyone who anyone who doesn't take this seriously, you've got to realise it's it's going to get this is only going to get worse. And I and I don't, I don't well, there's all sorts of things you can do about it. I mean, this is the good this is the good news. But I'm going to say what's going to what's going to what's going to happen about. It. And you might think to me, you might think I, I I even this even crossed my mind at one point. Um, well, it won't affect me because I'm not alt right. Well, Sargon's not alt right either, but he's considered to be part of the alt right or alt light. I'm not I'm not alt right or alt light. I'm a conspiracy theorist, so maybe this won't affect me. But then I had a look at the I had a look at the rule. I had a look at the rules. 
on, on this new this new policy of YouTube, and it had a list of things that they thought were unacceptable content. It mentioned hate speech. One second, I got. Sorry, I got something. I got something self sitting on something uncomfortable. Um, one of those, of course, was the the hate speech thing, which is deliberately intended. They had the hate speech regulations are deliberately intended to be so they can be applied to as much as possible. And I've said in previous videos, hate speech can include statements like um, "white people are not evil" or "not all men are rapists." Now, what's there's nothing literally hateful about those statements at all. Nothing. I mean, um, in fact, I think it's hateful not to agree with those statements. However, <coughs> people have been accused of hate speech for saying those things. And if you, can be accused of, if you can be accused of hate speech for saying that, you can be accused of hate speech for saying almost anything. We are living in the world of Orwellian newspeak. George Orwell was right. Now another thing they they say another thing that um, they talk about in this new rule book is um, they 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 this it's all this is the most sinister part from my point of view they talk about um, material that contradicts the scientific consensus mm. which is virtually all my content <laughs> all my content the scientific consensus says things such as um, Climate change is caused by human by human carbon emissions. Um, UFOs are all misidentified aircraft, swamp gas, or kites. There's no such thing as Bigfoot or the Loch Ness monster. Such creatures couldn't possibly exist. 9/11 was caused by hijackers who from, from who were Muslims who took over the planes and flew them into the World Trade Center and Pentagon, causing those buildings to be destroyed. Uh, all kinds of Stonehenge was built by primitive people. You know, this is the scientific consensus. Okay, and these are the things that I have been speaking out about. These against my opinions are different. Yet YouTube are saying quite clearly that they they are concerned about material that contradicts the scientific consensus. And I've got to ask myself, right? Um, how long is my channel going to last? How long is Hapanmo TV on YouTube now going to last? And I, I really hate the thought of losing the channel because I've worked so hard on it now for a decade. And I've built up a, a community of people who I can, some, most of whom I've never met, but, but, but I really like them. You guys who comment. I don't just do the comments replies videos because it's easier than writing out comments. That's how I started doing the comments reply videos. But I, I've actually come to enjoy them. I've actually come to consider it fun to do these comments reply videos. And I enjoy interacting with you guys like that. And some of you you some of you've been watching me for years and you really really like what I do. And you post encouraging messages, which means a lot to me. It means more to me than I can say. And I if this channel was lost, well firstly all the videos would go. And I don't have them all backed up. I don't have room on my hard drive. I've got like a, I've got close to eleven hundred videos now. I don't have room for all those on my hard drive. So I'll tell you, if any, actually, if any of you, if you, one thing you guys can do right now to help me, okay, is download my videos, download them all, and keep them for me. And if if I if my channel goes down, you can just let me know you've got them, and perhaps you can send them to me or mirror them, like like um, like Kimberly Clark has done. This is really nice of Kimberly. Um. Kimberly's a really great lady, and I don't care if she's named after a toilet paper manufacturer. I still think she's cool. Um, so, and there's another someone else. There's two people who've mirrored my videos. Um, that's a great help. It really is. Um, or just keep if you if you don't want to mirror them in case your channel goes as well, just keep them for me, and then let me know you've got them. Because I've I've got about I've got about two hundred three hundred of my videos on my on my hard drive. But maybe I'll back up more, I'll get some portable drives or some discs or something and back them up. But I, can't, I don't have room on my hard drive to back them all up. So it could, if my channel goes, most of that material will be lost forever. 
unless you guys download them. And the thing is also that this, this community of people that I've built up, the people who comment, the people who make reply videos, and I think you're all great. <laughs> He's Steve Mumbling, He's, he, even though even those who disagree with me like Steve Mumbling, you, you're brilliant for doing that. I really appreciate it. Um, it'll all be gone, and we'll be split up. We'll some of us might never encounter each other again. So for this reason, I am going to spread myself out. I'm going to remove all the eggs that are currently in this one basket, this basket called YouTube. And I'm going to move them to other baskets. And one of those, of course, was Vidme. And as you know, I had an account on Vidme. I talked about it a lot. Some of you went over there and you uh, you joined me over on Vidme. Um, of course, Vidme, Vidme went defunct, which is really, really sad. Vidme folded. Very, very sad to lose Vidme. And you remember my video where I'm basically very, very depressed about losing Vidme. But Vidme's not the only one. There's another one. Which There's another video sharing site out there which may have the have the ability to replace Vidme and that's called BitChute. Uh, I've got an account on BitChute and I've already uploaded two videos including an introductory video which is similar to this one um, which is just introducing this, this new project of mine, my BitChute project. Uh, BitChute is a peer-to-peer -peer system, it doesn't rely on a host which means um, unlike some things such as Gab or Vidme it's it, the host can't pull the plug on it. It's um, and, there, and there's this, that's just the first stage. I mean, there's talk about it moving on to a blockchain system. And there's one, there's there's a couple more, there's a couple now that are on blockchain. There's one that someone who sent me. There's one called MeWe, which is like a, it's kind of like an alternative. It's kind of like an alternative Twitter, I suppose. Uh, and there's one called Minds, which is kind of an alternative Facebook stroke. YouTube, and then there's one called Gab. I mentioned Gab, which is an alternative Twitter. Um, these these are lifeboats. They are desert islands for refugees from YouTube, and they are a place where YouTube can't touch them. If you go to BitChute, you'll find pe lots of people there who are YouTube ref refugees. A lot of them are alt right. A lot of them will post material you may not agree with. Um, it doesn't matter. They're still entitled to post it. If you don't agree with them, make your own material explaining why they're wrong. Don't do it. Don't, YouTube, of course, just says, oh, no, no, it's hate speech and removes it. Um, I've done a video on, go to BitChute. There's, there's the link in the description box. You will find my BitChute account. Uh, where I'm, I, I set it up a few months ago, like I said, and I just held it. I let I, it was left inactive. It was basically just provisional, in case YouTube and, and Vidme got rid of me. Well, YouTube, Vidme, I think it was Vidme shutting down, which made made me think it was more urgent. I, because that was one outlet that was now closed. That was one fire escape that was now cut off for me. But there's this one left, which is BitChute, and I'm gonna also. I've also set up. Um, Accounts on the other more conventional channels, Daily Motion, Vimeo, etc. But those aren't very good. I mean, they you basically have to pay if you want to do anything other than upload little short videos. Um, and this is the way the internet is going. I mean, I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna go this way. There's going to be like blockchain systems. There's going to be social media with blockchain and peer-to-peer -peer systems. Blockchain, incidentally, is is what um, cryptocurrencies use. It's a database which is where everything is in series, so it can't be edited. Um, so that that will be one part. That I think the internet is going to split into two. It'll be there'll be some that use the Tor browser, like I say, blockchain, peer to peer, and then there'll be the official internet, which will basically be everything that is approved by the government and the regulators and the censors, which will include YouTube, will include Twitter, and it'll include Facebook. Um, I mean, Twitter's already gone. I mean, Twitter is, all, is, is deleting Saga of Akkad and people like that. It's, it's, it's deleting everyone it can. As soon as, just as soon as it gets round to them, I mean, it's there's an automatic system now which looks for certain words. I mean, there's a lot of people who, a lot of people lost their videos over the, the Parkland shooting incident because some of them were saying it was a government false flag. I've not looked into that myself personally, and so I don't know. But it's possible it's a government false flag. I don't believe the government. I don't believe people who say well the government wouldn't do that. Yes, they would. 
I don't know if they have this time, but even if they haven't, even if this is really is what as it seems and the official story is correct, they're going to they're going to take advantage of that serendipitous occasion from their point of view. So um, they all a lot of people like that got their um, they got their videos take they got they lost their channels. One guy I know lost six channels. Who we talking about the Parkland shooting? Whether again, whether you agree or disagree. You cannot commit censorship. It's immoral to commit censorship. Um, what's what's going to happen though with YouTube is because eventually this is going to damage them. It is going to damage them on a bit in a big way because they're going to have they're going to downsize enormously over this. And I know that I mean you log out. I've logged out of YouTube or gone to a different browser, and I've looked at the like the, the entry page. And it's amazing. How much you see, which you don't, which so much I see, so many of the normal YouTube stuff, which I don't recognise. Just the, and I've realised that the alternative part of YouTube is a very, very small part, but it's by far the most interesting part. And we're going to get really, if you take, as far as I'm concerned, if you take away the take away the alternative stuff, it's, it's not worth watching. And how long is it going to be before, before that more and more users, more and more content creators and viewers of YouTube get fed up with just watching videos about cats and gardening and travel vlogs? YouTube is going to turn into a pale husk of its former self and it's going to be entirely their own fault. And the interesting people are just going to go elsewhere. We're all, what's going to happen is I think things, platforms such as BitChute are going to expand enormously as the Great Shuttling continues. And the thing about it is, in in the end, what's going to happen is, they I think the network of various independent platforms, and I'll I'll, I'll take part in all of them, and I'll put all my Herpanwell TV videos on there if I can. They are going to eventually overtake YouTube and the official internet because the fact of the matter is the internet people talk about internet censorship complete internet censorship is extremely difficult if not impossible you you literally will have to stop one computer linking up to another just simply client to client and to do that you're gonna to have to uninvent phone lines and uninvent computers in order to completely sense of the internet totally because you're going to have to do away with file sharing and things like that and it's only a matter of time before someone comes up with some block system blockchain system where you can actually file share and the file share system will then be put on some sort of platform and, and you know it's like the Tor browser I mean they're going to, you can't censor the Tor browser the dark web they call it that's where all the good stuff's going to go, and it's going to be so obvious, it's going to be so completely obvious that this is Orwellian information suppression, that the Illuminati are going to just realise that the secrecy will be blown, because they'll lose, they need to have the pretense that they're not doing anything bad, and they won't be able to pretend they're doing, not doing anything bad, because it's going to be obvious to everybody they are doing something bad. So guys, what I'll do is, there's a link in the show notes to my BitChute channel. Even join it, join. I join BitChute if you can subscribe to me. Um, if you don't want to do that, at least make a note of the URL so you can find me on BitChute. And if Panmo TV disappears for any reason, I will immediately mention. I will immediately put up a video on BitChute talking about that. Okay. So if you ever go to any of my Panmo TV videos and they're gone and the channel's gone, go to BitChute. That's where you'll find me. And go to my other platforms as well. I'll put a link to all of them. I'll put a link to all of them, all the others as well, in the in the description box. Okay, we can beat this. Okay, we just got to be. I, I want to thank. We just got to be savvy, or go with the people who are savvy. I want to thank all the, the tech savvy people who've done this. Because I mean, I I couldn't do this myself. I'm not trained to do these sort of things. I just press buttons and things go. So thanks to all the freedom-loving, tech-savvy people who've created these alternative platforms. Humanity owes you an enormous debt. 
So I hope to see you over there. Uh, I want to thank all of you for the support you've given me and for the interest you've shown in my content. It means it means an awful lot to me. It means everything to me. It's not over. I don't. I don't want to stop a Panmo TV, and I'm not going to. Not as long as I live or as long as her Panmo TV is necessary and we have a world in which her Panmo TV and other channels like it are needed. So, see you on the alternative internet. Thanks for watching. Hospital Port as pride and dignity. Stop the new world order.